Many young men today don't grow up until they buck up against a man. And when they buck up against a man on the radio, then they're facing themselves alone. When they buck up against a consumer in their facility where they're working, they start to get what they look like to men. And that can be a hard sell to an emotional and naive and immature young man. You see, a man will say, you're not playing right and you're acting like you're a man. Tell me what you did in the morning. What did you do at night that proved you were a man? What did you provide for? Who did you buy for? Who do, how do you pay your bills? Where's your car? Where's your house? Where's your wife? Where's your child? Then you can tell me you're a man. In America, a man is not what you think it is. A man is not just somebody who's got something dangling between their legs. You see, a Muslim or an illegal Hispanic might, or an illegal Australian might come into our hospitals and absolutely cut your shit off. And if that happens, you're not going to be pleased about that. But you have to be able to go on in life as a man. And a man knows how to behave no matter what instance he's in. But there is a point when a man makes a switch. When he's going to go from his polite, politically correct self to an impolite man saying, Don't you fucking play with me. I will bash you upside the head. Whether or not it's law for me to do that is not the point. Under self-defense, it is. When you start attacking someone's life, their technology, their livelihood, their opportunities, you just fucked your life into stupid though. And you act like a little boy. A little boy is someone who wants to play with a man like a toy. A man grows up. A man goes off to find a life partner. A man goes off to work every day, whatever that work might be. He makes a living in his work. Now, how he chooses to have his time and his time management is up to that man. I prefer to work hard in a short amount of hours and have a short work week so that I have free time in the rest of my week. Other people prefer to work 40, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. The Japanese certainly do that. And it means they don't have a lot of family time with their wives, who are usually picked for them, or their children that have been produced by them. What I can tell you is we have a moral society who is teaching children of every variety that they don't have to work. That is the biggest lie you've told yourself. Life is work. So you need to raise your child into loving something, anything, any type of concept, but it has to be a tied to a real potential for a real job. It can't be some esoteric playing of games unless they're going to go off and build video games. Then I say go have at it. If they like board games, then maybe they can make their own board game and they can get a job with a company that makes new board games. But the bottom line is, if they're only doing playtime in their free time, they will never make it anywhere because they'll never grow up.